Welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's time to investigate these pages. Uh, well, one of which was dropped. Maybe there will be more. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. The overlap. So that's probably like the overlap between like the the dark place or whatever and reality, perhaps. What do we have here? So Saga fights Nightingale with light. The autopsy room was the a mess. The autopsy oh. room was a mess. Cool. Like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light. Lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them. Hurt the darkness in them. Made them vulnerable. I flick the switch. It goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house! Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was. Killing. A monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. I wonder when he says things like, Hemingway, Hemingway brought you here, witch. I wonder if that's just a, like, replacement for Alan Wake or, like, the author, right? And he maybe is aware of the fact that Alan Wake is writing these pages that become reality. Could be. Um... The page called this area an overlap. Yeah, we need to see this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale. Was, but wasn't a Taken. A creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach. Where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, yeah. merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place. A tarp thrown over top. Drowning everything beneath it. A flood of darkness. Soaking into everything. Spoiling it. Rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. Wild, okay. And then this was the one that we saw at the very beginning. So that's fine. Now, from the case board, Nightingale attacked us. So, new entry. The dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. There's no rational explanation, no. But there is going to be an irrational one. So, where did Nightingale go? There's a whole bunch of options here. These are the manuscript pages. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake, and he's a Taken. <sighs> and the overlap. What? These pages aren't making sense. Not yet. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess. Not a lone killer, but an organized group, the Cult of the Tree. This case just got much more interesting. I should open a fresh new file. Start fresh. Okay. Well. Cult goal. Who's involved? He's a victim. What kind of cult? Cult of the Tree is performing rituals <clears throat> to raise monsters. What is this? Okay, so... Victim's body organs covered in writing. Page found inside the chest. Goes here. Is the writing part of the ritual? Nightingale was the only victim to become a monster. Oh, who's involved maybe here? Nope. Doesn't look right. Okay. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. Oh, God. Hmm. 
occult symbols. He was the only victim to become a monster. Okay. What is the ritual? His murder matched the other victims. Why didn't they become monsters too? Yeah, exactement. And we have a radio now. That's interesting. Oh, okay, so it plays these songs. Maybe these are all at the end of the chapters or something. The page places Nightingale back at Colgen Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Hello. It's got to be something in there. Can't be opened on this side. So, cop down, Nightingale disappeared, other sheriff cop guy disappeared, I think. We we heard gunshots, y'all, okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Yeah. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. I... F okay, interesting. Now I'm a little bit sussy of these two, but I'm sussy of everyone. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Like the fact that they're not having a bigger yeah. reaction to their crazy colleagues talk. being murdered. What do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like Cook? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. <laughs> magic's not real, right, Mulligan? It's not magic, it's supernatural, and you're gonna find out that it is pretty real here. Mm. They're a fine pair. Yes, they are. Adventure tours? What is this? Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost <laughs> in the woods. We've only had a tour Love guide, it. also. Bear season. Love it. Somebody called for a tour guide. Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here <laughs> to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. <laughs> we have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. Oh, I need those. We'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing in the crystal clear waters of bright Not a real Dam. fish. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. They had some of this, these commercial type things in, uh, control that you could watch as well. So I, I must have just been playing on a nearby TV or something. Don't mind me. Just being nosy. What are you doing? Doesn't look like much. What? Emptiness. Good day. My client has been held here long enough. 
Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Oh, this is open. Someone Sometimes will be right with you. to do this, Walter. Huh? I'm at my wit's end with you. Yeah, Walter. Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's well, a lot? I want out! Something bad's going down! I can feel it! You're not wrong. Let me out! Okay. Just mapping out the police station. I can't force it open. I know one of you stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. And then it says, what kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Just egging them on. All right. Casey, let's go. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Serial killer. Serial killer detected. Serial hey, killer. Casey, Casey, right here. Serial killer. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Okay, I'm calling it right now. We'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. I'm ready. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. Yeah, I just don't know how much is accessible, but it seems like things are kind of open. Weather report on the radio. Okay, so there's a radio show thing, there's these various artists. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? Deerfest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. She never responded, but I have her uncle Tapio on the line for a <laughs> Oh, longer. God. Tapio, are you there? Yes. Great. And Tapio, what kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Uh, that definitely seems to be on the menu. <laughs> How about over the next week? Also rain. Right. Care to uh, elaborate? Any chance the sun will poke out in time for Deerfest? No. Well, Deerfest is coming, rain or shine. And that parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade because they're one float in the shape of a swan. Long neck and everything. A very large swan. Ah, so you're a fan of swans. No. <laughs> okay, what the frick? <gasps> Interesting. Yeah, I think this one just popped up as well as maybe another song. Let me just take a quick look at what we got going on here. See if there's anything... Interesting. So, we really need bolt cutters. Um... The hint, I guess, can't open this with my bare hands. Is to try and maybe find those guys that do those tours. They did specifically say that they have bolt cutters. Maybe we'll just find them elsewhere too, but that does sound like a decent option. Oh, that's different. Okay. Hey there. To the Batmobile. That's what we're calling it, by the way. 
look at it. Actually. Historic Elderwood Palace Lodge of Bright Falls. The building was constructed as part of one of the early settlements in the Greater Bright Falls area in 19, 1898. The building was has been both in private and public use through the years and has bravely stood the test of time. In 2015, it is carefully taken apart and relocated here in downtown Bright Falls. Interesting. Where it was rebuilt into its original glory log by log. The Elderwood Palace Lodge reopened in Bright Falls in 2016, served as customers faithfully ever since. So what's good here? Any nice restaurants? I'm a bit of a foodie. Well, uh, the restaurants Hi. and shops in town are closed at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, they'll have a grand reopening right after Deerfest, though. So if you're sticking around till then. Oh, I don't think I am. Whatever a Deerfest even is. <laughs> See, I don't really have, I don't really have like a purpose for being in here. But I bet you there's a map that I don't have. Oh, maybe not. Maybe each place isn't broken down into... ...its own map. Okay. I'm sure there'll be reasons to come to these spots. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer. Yeah. Alan Wake. Okay. Tell me mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders you've heard the stories about what happened in new york some of it at least bodies started to pile up it was a murder cult turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of alan wake the cult was copycatting the murders from the books in their heads they were performing a ritual to bring wake back their imagined prophet after that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His oh, name does triangle keep symbols. popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Yeah, because he's essentially trapped in that in-between or in the lake, right? And I had forgotten that Alex Casey was one of his... Uh, characters. It might even be the one that he eventually killed off, and then that kind of tanked his career. The heart. Okay, whose motorcycle? That is badass. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. The um... let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. The two tour guides were wearing motorcycle jackets. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. In that commercial, he even said like MC Club. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. <gasps> oh, nice. Just getting in my steps, Casey. Just, you know, you should do it too. You're old. Yeah, this is that shortcut we came through. 
The lighting here now is so cool. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves? Oh, as look a at cult? this place has action. In my experience, they don't. Whoops. We're not seeing the full picture yet. How do I put my gun away? I don't want to freak anybody out. That's motorcycle guy. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello. Saga Anderson. That's not the guy from the commercial, though. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic oh. to meet you. Yeah, I think he is. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household <laughs> name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna <laughs> vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Okay, so we probably need to hook up with them at some point, if for no other reason than to try to get bolt cutters. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. <laughs> My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, That's why he was talking about sauna. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Okay. That's well, all I've got for the moment. We had come back behind here at some point. And that's the lunchbox that we opened. Now we haven't seen anything about these yet. Maybe they're just not important. But Ooh, what do you got here, buddy? Oh, maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get into it anymore. Okay, so people are interfering with this, and it's not raccoons, but that guy is saying raccoons, which means maybe... maybe he's tampering with it it's possible let's get to the murder site Casey a lot of things about this case keep bothering me but one thing feels really off breakers disappearance well yeah I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible hmm. he was about to give you more of those pages something didn't want us to have them or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. I like that if he gets too far, it kind of just fades Our into the mic. Pounding. Or I into the, um... Rain. Feels like... Walkie-talkie. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake. In an overlap. 
So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. <laughs> you know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Okay, well. What else do we see here? We see the symbols. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. I wonder if I should go back to that little cabin that's over there. And see if we can take pictures of those symbols or something. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Thank you. I'll be following the dead man's ghost feet. That are incredibly subtle. But also appear to give off some type of weird heat signature. I'll throw these into our case board here. Uh, writing... Oh, wait. Hold on. We have cult symbols here. Throw this in. Cult's use of imagery feels almost commercial, like branding. Would that be in here? Cult psychology. Usually, uh, cult imagery is usually subtle, recognizable only by members. But here, the use of symbols is enthusiastic, eye-catching. Yeah, and it's in a bunch of different spots, too. Let's clear those, and we'll clear that. Like, it's in publicly accessible areas, like advertising. Okay, do we see the feet? It looks like it's going this way. The tracks lead into the water. Oh my god. Where'd you go from here? I'm going in. <laughs> Holy fuck! I can feel something. Whoa! A presence. Okay. <laughs> cool. 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 I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Gotta be. That's the one that was blocked off, right? Explore Witch's Ladle area, exactly. Uh, okay. Let's go here. Where did he go? Drop that on. The tree. What's at a threshold to the overlap? Footprints leading into the forest. Yes. Nightingale came this way. I'm on the right trail. So if we look here, Witch's Ladle is off to the to the left. Absolutely, thanks. Holy frick. It looks like I'm going to have a battery thing to manage as well. 
likely drain when we're uh, pushing the Taken back, right? What is that? Yeah. It seems like it's reacting to the light. Like his footprints are. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. You can toggle flashlight boost to increase damage to darkness and burn through dark substance. Oh, cool. Oh, there we go. That's what My uses flashlight it. flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's uh. hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another huh. manuscript page. Cool. So we'll get like a small summary of these. And then we can go in for a larger explanation. Is ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Put this here. I think the page is trying to tell me where to find the fuse. It must be somewhere near the witch's hut. Bright light. There's these objects light of significance. Keep an out for more places like this. Bright light provides protection. More to be revealed as well. Is this implying light can affect reality? Nightingale was chased off by my flashlight. I need to find the witch's hut. Okay. Witch's hut is up to the right. So the red is signifying like a, a blockage. Locate a fuse in immediate area. I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Holy frick. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. This fuse is busted. We read this, right? Midge told me. Yeah, we read this. Yeah. More of these. This one looks good. Beautiful. People should really stop littering, though. I mean, it doesn't look like litter here. This looks like some type of... Well, I mean, okay. A little bit of litter, a little bit of organization. What's inside? Oh my god. Oh my god.